As a parent, if you feel that your child's just not hearing well, the first concern is, is this something that is abnormal? Is this something that is long term? Have we missed something? And parents are often riddled with guilt because they feel they may, might not have picked this up early enough. We have to be positive and not panic. The screening program that we have when a child is born always reassures you that the hearing threshold at the time of birth is normal. So you must reflect on that. Glue ear in particular, ear infections in particular, are very common in children under five. And therefore, we are fraught with hearing loss from time to time, but this hearing loss is reversible hearing loss. So that is really important to bear in mind. Hearing loss in children is often brought on quite insidiously because a child may be at a nursery and they may be quieter than normal. They may not be listening to those around them. They may not be listening to you as a parent. And you may think that it's simply them being naughty or behavioral, uh, lack of attention. And often it takes time for parents to pick these signs up. Um, sometimes parents pick it up because they have other children and they've got something to compare. But more often than not, it is over a period of weeks, if not months, that a multifaceted feedback, whether it's from you, grandparents, their siblings, the nursery, or even teachers, if they're at start of school, will pick up that they are not hearing well and interactivity is poor. Now that can happen over a period of months. And if that happens, that may lead to also a speech delay. You might find that a toddler is not having a large breadth of vocabulary for their age. They may not be communicating very well. Um, and they could even be as far as disruptive because of frustration. Um, very occasionally, parents do pick up that the children are either tugging at their ear, sometimes even head banging. Once you do suspect that there may be a hearing loss, please come and visit us because ultimately having that hearing test is going to be crucial for the development of your child. Oh, look at this. We have a really nurturing, kind and caring environment and the approach of all the staff, whether it's right from the word go at reception to the audiologists themselves who are very, very experienced with children is one of calm. When the children come, they will be able to feel that they are at times not even being tested, if I'm being honest, because for the younger children, they need to feel that they're playing a game. And that's exactly how we make them feel. It is a game. <laughs> as the, and ultimately, the people doing the test turn it into something that is fun. So when we test children, um, there's different methods for age groups. Um, so we test from six months plus here and when we're testing really young, you know, children, infants, six months to say um, two and a half, um, we usually do what we call um, VRA, so it's visual reinforcement audiometry. And uh, what we do in that case is um, we have the child sitting on the parent's lap. <gasps> We're playing sounds from a speaker from either side of the child and then we teach the child to um, associate the sound being played through the speaker with a flashing toy. And then bring it back to you, yeah. Bearing in mind they are very young children, we do as much as we can in this time frame that we have before they become unsettled or, you know, upset. But the main key is to try and just, you know, identify are they able to hear, you know, the minimum sound requirements um, for overall normal hearing. Should we play a game? Let's play a listening game. Take a seat. When we go on to two and a half older we do it by play we're going to play sounds through a speaker but this time we only need one person and they'll be playing with the child and turn the, it into a sort of what we call a listening game The main thing is when you're testing children is make it fun for them. Sometimes they don't know what to expect, so it's just trying to make it more fun and that they don't realise that they're actually coming to, you know, a clinical environment where, you know, they're seeing a doctor or a clinician and they just think, oh, I'm just having fun, you know. And that's the main aim of, uh, you know, when we do a hearing test, trying to make it a bit more interactive and playful. What do you do?
You can pop it anywhere, anywhere you like. Yay, good job. Next one. The one crucial thing is that depending on what the test results show, you may feel that yes, it is really important to speak with the doctor at the same time. And this is something that we have within our strengths as a team, that we are both audiologists as well as doctors and consultants who specialize in hearing loss, particularly with children. And I think it, that whole stream of kind care, caring environment is really crucial to, to making sure that you feel reassured about your child's hearing and well-being. Thank you.